While everyone was obsessed with Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl, there was another person who went to the event that I think deserved just as much attention. And that is the woman to the left of me, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who you can see here in a couple shots at the event. Here she's down right by the field. You can see she's at some sort of step and repeat before the event with the family. And you can see right here, this is apparently Travis Kelsey's mom. Uh, I guess the deep state plot to take over the election has gotten to Sarah Huckabee Sanders because now they're with the Kelsey's. I thought the Kelsey's were traitors and commies. But anyway, the important thing is that she's there. Or actually, the more important thing is that she and her whole family are there. Actually, even more important than that is that they weren't just there. Just going to the Super Bowl is a big deal. But she didn't just go to the Super Bowl, she went to the Super Bowl. I'm talking like rich person sweet went to the Super Bowl. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. How exactly she paid for it, I think is a question that deserves to be asked. Because we're not talking about a family trip to Disney, which is already too expensive. Her salary as governor is $158,000. That's a lot of money, okay? But the trip to the Super Bowl is a lot of money too. And apparently, let's see, we have Talking Points Memo, who just wanted an answer as to did you pay for this? Did you pay, as we're gonna describe, more than a year's salary for your family to go to the big game? Or did someone else? And for about two weeks, they have not responded to those questions. They also, her and her office, won't say whether any state resource was used, like planes or security details, because obviously this is not like a function of her governance to go to this event, but she's not saying. She also didn't answer how she accomplished any official business for the people of Arkansas by cheering on a team from another state. That's the part I'm least worried about, but it's a nice little dig. I like it, talking points memo. So I've been alluded to the fact that this is expensive, and now I wanna dive into the actual numbers. So suites for the Super Bowl cost, and I swear we double checked this, $750,000. Some, the best positioned ones, go for upwards of a million dollars. Now the suites do contain more than one seat, they contain about 20. So at minimum, the face values of the suite tickets for her and her family, they were $37,500 each. That's for the tickets. There's hotel rooms, which obviously cost thousands. There's, you know, there's there's a lot of money. Basically, when you add it up, if you were trying to be as limiting as possible and how much it must have cost for her and her family to go, it's over one hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars, which is more than her yearly salary as governor. And I am not going to say that it is not possible. That man, she just loves the big game. And so she and her family blew a year's salary on it. I can't prove that that's not the case. But she also can't prove that that's how she paid her. At least she's not trying to. Because as of right now, we're left with some serious questions. If this is striking you the way it struck me as having shades of Clarence Thomas, it's because it could be the same thing. Clarence Thomas was sent for years on expensive vacations that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and maybe delivered something in return. For Sarah Huckabee Sanders, we literally can't even watch her actions in the future and try to figure out, is she paying back the person who may have given her the tickets? Because we don't even know who did it. She doesn't feel any need whatsoever to be transparent about potentially a gift being given to her that was worth nearly $200,000 or maybe even more. And maybe she did pay for it or maybe a billionaire paid for it. Maybe a billionaire who has business in her state. Maybe it was a corporation that paid for it. I don't know and that at the end of the day is the real problem. She's apparently in the past also tried to get rid of other forms of transparency in the state. So this is not inconsistent for her, but there should be way more questions because the amount of money is so high compared to her salary that I think that the people of her state deserve to know. So we'll see, I don't have high hopes or expectations that she'll reveal it.